Hi kids, welcome to our science lesson, Unit 4, Humans. Today we are going to learn about the use of human senses. Before we begin, let us look at the content standard, learning standard, and learning objective for this lesson. Content standard 4.1 Human Senses Learning Standard 4.1.4 Explain with example Use other senses if one of the senses is not functioning. Learning Objective By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to use other senses if one of the senses is not functioning. Now, let's refresh our knowledge. Still you remember our previous lesson? Still you remember the five senses? Alright, let us name the five senses. Sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of taste and sense of touch there are five senses these are parts of body related to five senses eyes nose ear tongue and skin These are the five senses and the part of body related to the senses. Sense of sight, eyes, sense of smell, nose, sense of hearing, ears, sense of taste, tongue, Sense of touch, skin. That's all for the five senses. I hope you still remember. Now, listen. Let's guess. What is that? It is a cat. How do you know it is a cat before the teacher said it? You know it is a cat by hearing the sound. The meow meowing sound is only for a cat. So, what senses or sense did you use to identify it is a cat? Let's look at this bubble map again. Did you use sense of sight to identify it is a cat? No. Did you use sense of smell to identify it is a cat? No. Did you use sense of hearing to identify it is a cat? Yes, we hear the meowing sound. Did you use sense of taste to identify it is a cat? No. Did you use sense of touch to identify it is a cat? No, we cannot touch the cat. So, we only use sense of hearing to identify it is a cat. Now, let us answer this question, the previous question. What senses did you use to identify it is a cat? We use sense of hearing to identify it is a 
cat. We cannot use our eyes because we cannot see the cat. We cannot use sense of touch because we cannot touch the cat. We only hear the sound. Now, let us do this activity. Help Linda to solve her problem. There is a power failure. Linda is unable to see in the dark. What scent or senses can Linda use to find the torch? Look at the picture. This is Linda and this is the torch. Linda unable to see the torch. Now help Linda to find the torch. Can Linda use sense of sight to find the torch? No. Because it is dark, Linda cannot see the torch. Can Linda use sense of smell to find the torch? No. Because the torch doesn't have smell. Can Linda use sense of hearing to find the torch? No, because the torch doesn't have sound. Can Linda use sense of taste to find the torch? No, because the torch is not edible. So we cannot taste the torch. Can Linda use sense of touch to find the torch? Yes, Linda can use sense of touch to find the torch in the dark. Now, let's answer the question. How does Linda know that the object she touched is a torch? She knows that the object she touch is a torch by its shape. So, for conclusions, we can use other sense or senses if one of the sense is not functioning. Our task for today do exercise in your activity book, page 27. Then submit your work through Google Classroom or Telegram. This is your activity book, page 27. Before begin, please write that here. Color the boxes with the senses that can be used in the following situation. There are two situations. Situation 1 and Situation 2. For Situation 1, this is the picture and these are the options. You have to color one or more senses that he can use to find the torch. Can he use sense of sight? If yes, you color. Can you use sense of hearing? If yes, color. Can you use sense of smell? If yes, color. Can you use sense of touch to find the torch? If yes, color. Next, look at situation 2. Look at the boy. The boy said, I can't smell this food because I have flu. So, how do he identify this is a food? Can he use sense of sight to identify it is a food? Can he use sense of hearing to identify it is a food? Can he use sense of smell to identify it is a food? Can he use sense of touch to identify it is a food? You may color one or more senses. That's all for our lesson today. Thank you. Bye.